Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, I am just officially announcing um, a new business venture for myself. I've kind of been keeping it hush-hush for a little while because we were getting everything kind of set up. And so I am really, really excited that one of the things that I've added to my plate of entrepreneurial activities is um, I have signed with a company called American Classic Agency. And so I am uh, helping families, mostly in middle America, um, not only prepare for retirement, but to help them get out of debt um, a lot quicker than they m would normally be able to do, you know, with their own devices, um, as well as building generational wealth, as well as reaching a zero tax bracket in retirement. So every day this week, I'm gonna come on here really live and I'm gonna share, I'm gonna come live on here every day for just a couple of minutes each day. I'm gonna share with you just a little bit about that. And so I do wanna ask you, please make sure that you like, love, and share this video. And so what I'm talking about today, today's part one, and it is getting to the 0% tax bracket in retirement and all of us can do it but i will say the sooner you start the easier it is to move towards it okay all right so um as you are still in your working years there are basically three buckets that you should be investing your dollars into to help prepare you for retirement um, also to help you become independently wealthy or into or at least financially independent at some day oh and by the way i just um i love playing with all these filters so this little thing that's like giving me all the sparkles everywhere i think they made it just for me <laughs> anyway okay so um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to share with you a little bit about that okay so you have a taxable bucket and i'm going to tell you what that might be how you might contribute to that you have a tax deferred bucket, which I'm gonna talk about more tomorrow. And then you have a tax free bucket, which most of you don't know anything about. Oh, by the way, hi Quincy. Um, okay, so the first thing that you need to know is you must allocate all of your monies into the appropriate buckets, either taxable, tax deferred, or tax free, in the right amounts, in the correct increments, so that when you get to um, retirement, all of your streams of income are tax-free. I'm gonna say that again. You need to allocate all of your monies into the appropriate um, buckets in the right amounts so that when you get to retirement, all of your streams of income are tax-free. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example of what a taxable bucket is, and it's a really good idea to have a little bit of money in this particular um, way. So these would be accounts that grow each year and are taxed. For instance, could be a CD, a money market, a, a stocks, bonds, or mutual funds, okay? All right, so what happens is, so let's, we're just gonna, we're just gonna um, give a scenario. Let's say if you have a CD that you know you've already purchased and it's worth $100,000. And so usually these type of products um, give small rate of return each year. So let's say that you gain 2% on that over the year. At the end of the year, you would have $102,000, right? But you have to pay state and federal tax on the $2,000 gross, uh, on the $2,000 growth, I'll say it correctly. So, that $2,000, it also gets tossed on top of all of your other taxable income and it gets taxed at the highest marginal rate. So I'm gonna give you, depending on what state you live in, I'm just gonna give you some generalities of what it might look like, okay? So let's assume that you end up paying 30% on that $2,000 gain probably around 24% to the federal government and probably around 6% to your state government, okay? And so so we you know we go well why why would we even have a taxable bu bucket? Why would we even put monies into that type of account? Well, there's one really good reason to have a little bit of money in that type of account, and that is liquidity. It's, you can get very fast access to this kind of money in the event of an emergency, right? So tax experts say that we should have about six months worth of living expenses in the, these types of products 
um, because we can get to them quickly. When, when we take money out for an emergency basis, I don't know, let's say that your roof blew, blew off your, you were in a tornado, I don't know. You, you have some sort of, you know, emergency um, that's more than just a thousand dollars. It's gonna cost like 10 grand or something, right? So the thing is, is that you can take that money out and you can use it for an emergency situation and you're not gonna be penalized for it like other types of savings and retirement plans. So for emergencies, it's a really great idea. And so most tax experts say that you should have about six months of emergency funds into a taxable product um, that you can get the money quickly and you don't have to pay any penalties for using it. So, so not having enough money in these type of accounts means that you might have to withdraw from other kind of accounts and pay penalties. But having too much money, um, having too much money in those kind of accounts is going to cause you higher taxes at the end of each year. So the other thing that it can do is it can cause your social security benefits to be taxed also, okay? So too much money in your taxable buckets, um, on, you know, basically a low interest bearing vehicle, um, especially if it, is, if it is giving you a rate of return that is less than the rate of inflation each year. So inflation right now is about three to three and a half percent each year. So if your money is in those type of accounts and you're getting less than 3%, then you are slowly going broke, okay? All right, so, so uh, the second thing that I wanted to, um, so that's the first thing. I wanna tell you that, that, that it's not a bad idea to have some money in CDs or, or those type of accounts. You just want to limit how much you use, okay? All right, so the next one, and I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow. I'm gonna to talk about the tax deferred bucket. So this is where most of us are putting our retirement dollars. They are your 401Ks, your IRAs, your 403Bs, your 457s, your Simples, your SEPs, and your Kios, okay? Now, I'm not gonna tell you very much about this today other than having some of your money in these type of accounts is awesome and you should probably have some. However, I don't want you to forget this because most people do. When you enter retirement years later and you begin to take distributions on the monies in your 401k or these other types of accounts, you will be paying taxes on those distributions at the current rate of tax in that year. So let's say it's 2021. Let's say that you retire in 2035. Whatever monies is in your 401k, as you start taking monies out, you know, to fund your retirement, you're going to be paying the tax rate in 2035. So what I really want to help you guys with is two different things. And I'm going to talk about this much more in depth, but, and that is a tax free bucket. There are some ways that you can invest your money tax free. You're not going to pay taxes on it when you put it into it. You're, um, you're not going to pay taxes when you take it out and you can accumulate as much as you want. And we go, how do we not know about this? Well, this is how banks and large corporations become rich. This is how the rich become rich. But middle America, we don't know very much about these type of tax strategies, nor do we even understand how we can actually get to a zero tax bracket in our years of retirement. So if you found this to be even a little bit helpful and a little bit informational, do me a favor, like, love, and share this video. Um, in the comment section, make sure that you um, type in some questions if you have some questions. And by all means, if you would just kind of like for us to kind of take a look at where you're at right now, where your monies are being distributed, and how we might be able, without costing you anything additional, how we might be able to move some things around that's gonna set you up for the best retirement that you can have, as well as later on this week, I'm gonna share with you some ways that you can become your own bank. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Um, the link to my scheduler is in the description of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Talk to you soon, bye.